Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Kick It With Russ vlog. All right guys, good morning. Beautiful uh, Sunday morning here. But today we're gonna be doing a small video. Got my, me and my son here. Got his helmet on. A uh, beautiful morning to ride, of course. But yeah, we got the pocket mods today. Today's video is gonna be about these pocket mods. So this is the one I recently just built. Got it done. This is my red one right here. Um, fully equipped with front and rear disc brakes. They don't come with disc brakes, um, if many of you have seen. So yeah, this one was fully modified. It is on a 72 volt, um, has a tune controller in there. Front and rear disc brake, as I said, shout out to brother Royce, um, his IG right over here. But yeah, he, uh, he helped me fabricated the brake, the caliper brake mounts on here. So that way I could mount these hydraulic brakes. Um, the wheels actually came off of a uh, fetal for the front as as you can see and then the rear is all your normal um, 8 inch hub hub motor and then as far as the throttle and everything it's your standard electric throttle whatever to, um, e bike throttle um, I kept the stock rear guard which is for the rear chain just to keep it a little more still um, here as you guys can see there's another one I just finished right over here. This is for a homie of mine. This one came out real beautiful. 180 front and rear disc. This one actually has a 160. This one has a 180. Uh, brand Everything is brand new on this bike. This bike came straight from the box, straight to me. Got it done. Once again, shout out to Brother Royce for doing the mountings for the brake calipers. Um, I painted the whole bike. As you can see, it's freshly painted. Everything is nicely done. This one's running the, I believe that's a 5,000 watt rear hub motor. Of course, the front feeder wheel again. And yeah, Let's show you the seat. Real clean, simple, 72300 driver in there. 72 volts tucked in. I left the little charge port there to be hanging out. Because this thing is so compact that you won't you won't be able to take the battery in and out of this thing. That's how hard it is. You got to take out so many panels, this and that. Um, I made a custom splash guard under there. Got the battery in there. Of course, this is a dual phase motor. Oh, another e bike. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna do a couple runs. I'm gonna do a couple cruising around. You know, I'm gonna check these things out, test them out. This one I just got done, so we're pretty much riding around. I'm gonna test this one out, see how it handles, and then just go strolling. All right, guys, so we're cruising. Got my red one, as you guys see. How cool is this, though? <laughs> I wish you guys could see the way I look with this camera right now. Oh, with the helmet on and everything. It's pretty cool. You got two guys on a little pocket mod, full on helmet. <laughs> Full face helmet, cruising. Little do they know how fast these things go. It's amazing. All right, so we're just gonna go up here. We're gonna check it out. I mean, see if we can, you know, take some photos. That's why we actually came over here to do some photo shooting for these bikes. But eh, why not shoot a vlog for it, you know? So. Yeah, we're gonna go take some photos, check it out. You know, right now is the best time since it's nice and sunny. And go from there. Probably do a, a little test speed run on both of these, see how it goes. This one's running a bigger motor. This is a 5,000 watt motor. We just utilized whatever parts we had laying around. That one's on a 1,500 watt motor. So that one's real limited. And, but they're both on 72 volt, but some of uh right now thank you guys yeah so they're both on 72 volt um that one's using a smaller 72 volt battery and then this one's using i think a 200 amp discharge which is way more than enough for this little thing because if you ride this thing and you're hitting what 50 whatever mile an hour this thing is spooky but the lucky thing is hey how's it going guys the good thing is we already have, at least we have disc brakes for it. So that's the best part about it. Cause they, they don't come with brakes when you buy it stock out of the box, you know? 
I mean, yeah, they, they don't come with front brakes. They come with a rear drum brake and that's it. So they're not made to go the way, of course, we're making them go. So, but yeah, stay tuned guys. We're gonna head up, go to this one strip that we usually do a test run on and we'll see how it goes from there. They will shoot some video and yeah, that's how our day's gonna go. All right. All right, so this is our quick drag strip right here. As you guys can see, oh damn, shout out to you. But I'm gonna reset this. You ready? And now this thing, I got this thing to hit close to 60. This thing is on, a, like I said, a 1500 watt. This thing is on a 5000 watt, so, but then the motor doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't, I don't know what, what this motor been through or what, but it doesn't feel as it should be, if I would say. I don't know if somebody messed it up in the previous pass or what, but yeah, I mean, it goes, it still goes, but I don't know the history of it. So we just, like I said, we just slapped together whatever was there. So let's go and t take these for a ride. So it's a nice, beautiful day and stretch. You wanna come this side? You wanna come on this side? Come on this side. All right, we got to see the bike. I can close my lens real quick. All right, on the 25 mile an hour mark, we're gonna go, okay? Ready? You see the reload? Say go! Oh, this thing shoots! Holy shit! This thing is fast. Holy crap. Woo, 61 and it's still climbing, guys. Oh, holy jeez. Oh, this thing is scary. I kind of let off in the midway because I don't know what the road is like, but... I don't know if I was going to run into a big bump or what, but oh, 61 mile an hour and this thing is hauling. Whoo, this thing is scary. All right, so my bike, I think the battery is still dead, but I haven't charged that one, but it just did 53, 54 about. So, whoo, that was, bruh, 61 mile an hour, guys. Holy cuz. That's crazy. And this thing kept climbing. It still has a lot more in it. <laughs> oh man, this thing is so fun. Shucks. All right, I'm gonna probably do a shoot over here because it's nice and empty. Beautiful roads, everything. So, yeah. Should I do the photo shoot? Oh, let's go over there. Holy damn, this thing is fast. Jesus. And the scary thing is it's on a smaller bike, so you guys already know this thing is sketched out to begin with, but it handles, it's smooth. I mean, the, mo the motor apparently is working and running too, so damn. I mean, it doesn't sound healthy in the beginning, but it's, it's working. <laughs> Oh yeah <laughs> all right guys we're here we're in this lovely area here in the beautiful Kapolei got brand new houses here and what better place to do a quick shoot over here quick video but yeah here's the bike again once again guys pocket mods this one I just finished putting together all the panels last night wiped it down it's finally on it's nice and clean and then I got mines of course over there too bad my battery is like sticking out there. But hey, this one is nice and clean. Here we go. Sick. This one, I got more plans for it. Um, stay tuned for that one. As it's gonna it's gonna get a a decent upgrade to it. I'm gonna get rid of that 1500 watt motor, put that on the side for another build, something more tame or whatever in the future. But this one, I'm gonna upgrade also to a 5,000 watt and then I'll push it a little bit more. 
So I'm expecting this to go close to 70 mile an hour at least. So stay tuned for that. It's already in the works. You guys heard it first. It's already in the works. I told you guys right now, if you're watching this video, you guys heard it. So this one's coming, but this one, it's still climbing guys. This thing is way in the sixties. That's for sure. Cause after that run, it's, it's there. It's scary. Yeah, both of these bikes right here that you're seeing are both on 72 volt. And I don't know, for some reason, 72 volt is where it's at. Anything lower. I mean, it's okay for like a cruiser thing, but if you want slightly more power, you just got to go with 72 volt. That way you don't cry about it. You know what I mean? You just go one time and you're good. But yeah, as you can see, I'm running two. So one is plugged in and then when it dies, I plug the other one in. That's two eight amp hour batteries right there to make a 16. But I mean, shoot for what an eight amp hour can go on the distance on these things with a small hub motor, it goes guys. I think I rode more than nine miles just on one battery, which is cool. It's good. And this one of course is a 20 amp hour, 72 volt. And this thing goes, it, it'll go, it'll go. That motor won't eat up as much. And the way you cruise on this thing, how smooth it is, you won't be using as much power as much. So yeah, we got the pocket Maz. Just stay tuned. We're gonna ride a little bit more. Go around the block, we'll see. Just Galavan, just enjoy this um, beautiful day with these pocket mods. And yeah, like I said, this is the first time having this thing out. So it's a test and tune trial, whatever for this bike. But from what it is, the tuning is perfect. I don't think I need to put any more power to it. It's already hitting 60 mile an hour, you guys can see, and it's still climbing. I didn't even push it full, uh, fully. So that right there is more than enough for that little thing. Um, in, uh, unless the owner wants it to go faster. So. But we can always do that. We can always turn up power, put more power, you know, do all that stuff. But of course it does get expensive. So, but it's up to everyone, right? It's up to their own. They want to put more power, do more things, whatever. But that one, I'm going to start pushing more to it soon. So stay tuned guys. I'm just going to ride around, but for the meantime, enjoy this footage. So we're back on the move. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that B-roll little video that I just put together. This is something simple. My red pocket mod there. That one's gonna get a big upgrade later in the future. It's already in the works, so stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully I can break close to 70 mile an hour on that thing. Um, this thing, of course, as you guys seen earlier, it did hit the 60 mile, 60 mile an hour mark, which I was shooting for and it did it well over i mean it did 61 but it actually is capable of more after doing that run and this thing surprises me a lot too because it's very smooth it's just the road i had to really make sure on the road with these things because these things are all rigid frames so oh look at this brand new paved road wow want to go this way oh, let's go this way check out the scenery but hey, the good thing about these bikes is it's small, it's maneuverable, man, and it's quiet. <laughs> you can rip through the neighborhood, quiet. Ooh, hub motors, guys. But yeah, guys, this is the view I'm talking about. It overlooks the whole, um, I, I don't know what you can say, why, like Honolulu, whatever. So this is Eva, you got Honolulu on that side, White Paul and everything else, but. I heard it was busy here on New Year's, which I wouldn't doubt because 
this is where you want to be of course you got all the hills here i mean all the hills look I'm, I'm thinking of the hills already we used to actually ride on the hills but i'm thinking about all this um the views so it's pretty nice and they have like a little i guess like a little walk path here that's gonna happen which is cool it's a nice chill spot you got the farmland of course down there um let's see yeah, so this is the walk pad I was talking about. It goes right in. You know, you, you just walk your dogs, whatever. But, yeah, this is a beautiful place, guys. I always love coming riding here, you know, with the boys. As you guys seen before, come ride over here at night, whatever. But, yeah, look at that. It's a nice pathway. And then we got one over here also. Oh, we got a guy on the Saran right there packing his uh, son. So, but these hills though, these are the hills. Like this guy is going gallivanting. He's gonna go in the back. That's what happens when you have a saran. See that? You go cruising all off trail. But yeah, we're gonna just go right around again. And just stay tuned. We'll probably head up to the uh, transit center up there. It's a nice open parking lot. It's a parking ride. So it goes up to a, a nice parking lot. And that's where the kids usually practice their stunting, whatever. So let's go up there. But yeah, guys, look at this beautiful morning. These are the type of neighborhoods you want to just cruise around on these things and just, you know, quiet, say hi to the neighbors, whatever, you know, just enjoy your day. Want to run again? Ready? Go! This car is gonna trip out. Like what the hell? <laughs> They're like, holy shit! Wow, we're flying. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's go. So that one, we're just cruising at 50, guys. That wasn't even like using the full power or whatever, but that's way more than enough to go with traffic. Yeah. This is where my son usually practices his wheelies and stuff like that. It's a nice place to come, chill. It's open like this. All right, we're gonna do a quick drag race here before we leave. Oh, so he's gonna be on um, the bike that I recently just built. And I'm gonna be on my red one here. <laughs> so I wanna see, cause he's lighter than me. So let's see how much faster, but hey, don't forget to let off before the end, okay? Are you in mode three? Yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. Ah! He's gonna reel me in. No! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yeah, that thing is smooth. Ooh, this thing with these, I think the battery just drained already on this thing. All right, guys, we're here. We're at the parking ride. This is the transit, newly developed. This is one of the stops here in Kapolei. But yeah, sorry. I usually jump back from my Insta360 to my phone whichever but check out that rig set up there of course got the mic on there got some mounted to the helmet and such but yeah guys back to the pocket mods hope you guys enjoyed it hello guys until next time peace out and you guys have a beautiful day all right hello
just hit 62 miles an hour on that run. Oh man, and this thing is still climbing. Oh, shucks. This thing is fast. 